out again, recording in the wild. It is windy today, so I have no idea whether the sound will work out right or not. Well, here we go. Part of my story that plays a big part in who I am right now, don't often share too much detail about it. Um, I tell people that I worked 15 years in retail, and that doesn't really do it justice. The reason I'm going to delve into that a little bit is you know, people ask me, Paul, you're the king of automation. Like everything you do, you found a way to systemize it, process it, speed it up, use tech to improve on the process that you've got. You've got AI running. And amongst all of that, you never really lose sight of what's really important. You're still there in the middle of it all being the human. Like, how do you begin to get on that journey? And you know what? I've only been in B2B world for five years. It's not like I've spent my whole life in B2B. Jeez, it's windy. But see, I spent 15 years in retail and that, that shaped me. That really did shape me. So German discount retail, right? I'd go through an entire day. I'd take 15, 20,000 pounds tokens in one day and I'd have three, four, maybe five staff, including myself all day from starting work at five or six in the morning through till shut at the store, usually half eight. And then, and then later years, it became sort of 10, 11 o'clock. You couldn't really do a whole day without killing yourself. And you learned the hard way how to make things efficient. Cause if you didn't make things efficient, um, your career died on the spot. There's no two ways about it. You've got to be super efficient. You know, you've got all of your trading law all of your ticketing, all of your ordering, your stock to put out, your customers to serve, your bakery to run, safe to manage, tills to sort, staff concerns, HR issues, rotors, audits, area manager coming in, customer complaints, customer praise, weekly memos, strategy, planning, cash audits, all those sorts of things. And by the end of 15 years, I could pretty much do most of that with my eyes shut. 